Hi guys, it's James Goddard here down at Quest Golf Academy and today I want to talk to you a little bit about ground pressure. So quite a hot topic among most professionals and we've all been told, we've all heard, you've got to use the ground effectively to maximise power and maximise distance. So, quite lucky um, down here at the Quest Golf Academy that we've actually got a force plate. So I'm going to be using that today to demonstrate um, some drills that I believe can help you guys out. So, can you, firstly, can you use the floor effectively if your angles, so the club, the, uh, the angles in which the club is travelling, can you use the ground effectively if those angles aren't in control? Now, I don't believe you can, and I'm going to explain why now. So the first issue I see, now we've all been told that we need to get a good load into the top of our backswings, so we're gonna load into our right side, so we're looking to try and get roughly about 80% into our right side for an iron, and from there, we know all the pressure needs to shift left to the target, so to our lead foot, and we're looking to try and get, again, a roughly around about 80 to 90% of pressure in our lead leg at impact. Now the only issue I see with that, or I have seen, is one, I see a lot of guys that go to the top of the backswing. From the top of the backswing, the first thing they do is their hands and arms move out. The weight has, has gone into the left side of the foot, but this shaft is now super steep. So from here, I can only do really one thing. I've got to back up and out of it, so my pressure will then shift back into my right foot, so in my trail leg, two things have happened here. One, my path has shift massively from out to in, and secondly, I've added dynamic loft. So you will see these guys who do manage to strike the ball, how it's very cutty and it's a bit of a high and weak ball flight. So that's the first issue I see, and again, it's all due to trying to get that weight into this left side early, standing the shaft up. Some of the better players, Again, it's the same issue, but on the other opposite end of the spectrum. So we'll see a good load into the right side, and we see a super big push off, off this trail leg in an effort to try and get this pressure, as we've all been told, into this left leg. So we'll see a big push off. Shaft, again, is a little bit steep. Now from here, because I've pushed so hard into my left side, well, we all know, guys, that this, this knee does, has no rotational element to it. It's just a hinge. So I'm gonna not, have any chance from here, I push straight over to get to this imaginary wall, No, not able to rotate from here at all, so we see a big cast out, the path is working miles from in to out, and we see either big overdraws or straight blocks, or sometimes big hooks. So, I've got a little drill set up here, courtesy of one of the alignment sticks, and I'm gonna run you through some reference points using the force plate. Now granted, I know you guys aren't gonna have force plates, but I'm pretty sure you can all feel pressure into your right foot at the top, and then kind of find a 50-50, and then a push off and pressure into your left. So you can use, I don't know, cut a, a tennis ball in half and use them under your feet so you can feel that pressure. So I've just set up a little drill here. This is the golf ball I'm gonna use to hit. And then I've set up a golf ball six inches to the right and say a foot ahead of that and that's going to be my reference for my shaft angle. So we're getting into our good setup, hopefully pretty neutral to start off with. From there I want to see us go to the top of our back swings. Now from here I don't want to see a big push off into that left side. I want to see a left arm parallel which is here, I want to see the weight should re be returning to roughly around 50-50 in the feet. So notice how I haven't gone too far left, I certainly haven't hung, hung back on my right side, the pressure has started to leak forward, but it's just not as severe. That keeps my spine nice and neutral, so I haven't added any, ex any excess tilt to it yet. Top of the back swing, back to neutral. Where's my shaft? Why is that golf ball there? That's my reference point. So we don't want this shaft standing up, again, because we're gonna to react to that. We want that shaft laying down. Now from here, back to neutral. Now from here, 
I can just push on and rotate through. So you can see here the pressure has gone all the way to my left foot and into the heel, but I've been able to rotate in and around. So it's a constant pressure leak from the top of the backswing into 50-50 left arm power to the floor. And from here, I can just push all the way through and rotate around. So I'm just gonna hit some short shots. And guys, when you're hitting these golf shots, again, we're looking for 30% speed. So we're doing it as a drill. We're not trying to so knock the living daylights out of it. So 50-50 to start off, hopefully. Good load to top of the backswing. Back to 50-50, there's my reference point. And then just rotate on and around. Again, a good control of the face. The golf ball's flown pretty straight. And I was able to feel load, the ref points, left arm, power to the floor, shaft pointing out the golf ball, weight was 50-50. From there, I push off into the left foot, but everything can rotate on and around through. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it's kind of cleared up some of the, some of the theories around, well, one, basically whereabouts in, in certain points of our golf swing should our pressure be. I hope that's cleared that up, and it's given you some reference points for that. Also, great drill. Uh, to help you guys start practicing that immediately. So, if you like these videos, guys, there's plenty more to come over on our Quest YouTube channel. Follow me on all my other social media platforms and comment below. I'd love to know what you guys think of this video. Is it helpful? Do you guys have a different opinion on this? Like the video and I will see you guys next time.